Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk, and this time I'm in Kent, and I'm in Biddenden with Sue Boone. Hello, Sue. Hello, Richard. I understand that you are a house and garden manager, look after some wonderful properties in the area. Yes, yep. And you also organise the Tractor Fest. Is that right? That's right, that's oh, correct. Fantastic, so we're gonna have a little talk about those Lovely. things. Could you tell us where we are first? Because we're, I'm in fear of falling into some water, ladies and gentlemen. Right, well, we are standing by our swimming pond. A swimming pond? Yes. As opposed to a swimming pool? Yes, yes, what, so what? It's, it's, it's no chemicals at all, um, just natural water. And right. it's lovely, so when you swim, you don't get out with horrible dry skin, you get out feeling refreshed and lovely. Oh, fantastic. And yes, we're on the jetty, je jetting out, so uh, I'm going to try not to fall. But we're going to have a little walk around one of your clients' yes. um, gardens, who's very kindly agreed. Lovely. So I'll follow you. Certainly. Off the jetty, anyway. <laughs> so, Sue, yes, so um, this, the, the, the job that you do, the looking after gardens and, and that sort of thing, um, these sort of gardens, we're, the lovely Julia and I, uh, are very much into trees and we're getting into plants and those sort of things so I'm fascinated to see what you've got here. Well we've got some beautiful oak trees in this garden I mean you know it's it's unusual there's one I'm going to take you to now to see an oak tree such a large tree in such good condition I mean this one survived the hurricane I mean there are several which which got quite a lot of damage in the hurricane but this one survived it I mean it's absolutely stunning tree. And it's isolated on its own which so that you can see it Yes. Uh, in all its glory and of course you, you, you sort of do need to stand a little away from it to get the, uh, the full effect. Absolutely. But what an amazing thing as we approach through all, all these other um, trees which I'm, I'm guessing some are ornamental and some yes, are more... Yes, um, yes. Well I mean it, you know it's, it's a garden and yes. it's a garden that's changed over the years. Um, was probably much more involved years ago when people could afford to have a lot of people work for them. Yes. But obviously times have changed and it's expensive to have people working now. And so, you know, properties have had to become more manageable. It's, it, it's difficult, I, I don't know how that's going to come out on camera, for people to realise the size The size of and the scale, that's right. Yes, perhaps if I stood next to it, you yeah, might no, get yeah, an do, idea yeah, of Yeah, have, have a stand size. next to there we go. So, and I'll walk slightly back like this, there we go is uh, disappearing ben beneath the tree so how long how long have you been um, interested in gardens and uh, this sort of thing well I'm I probably started this off about 20 25 years ago um, we I used to work on farms years ago oh right okay then I um, bought some land with my sister over at Edgerton and we grew strawberries oh wow which sounds wonderful but yeah. I mean it was a, it was really really hard work and is unfortunately it? English we, weather is that part of the problem well it was, it was actually it was tabletop strawberries oh okay and they were all they were all under cover under sort of Spanish tunnels and we were too big to get rid of our own fruit to market our own fruits so we had to go via the supermarkets oh. And nearly that was the the downfall, the downfall of us, I'm afraid. Because what? Because be, be, they because made they, so many. Yeah, their demands are impossible to meet. Right. And when when people see this, um, buy one get one free. I don't know who they think pays for it. Yes. But unfortunately, it's the grower. It's down to the grower. And, yeah. And you know, it, it's it's not manageable. You cannot make money doing that. So we then decided to to diversify as we had the tunnels. And we decided to grow shrubs for garden centres um, and we joined a small group and we grew a lot of shrubs again it was a killer <laughs> <laughs> because you work so hard so hard for so little return and, yeah and mind that Ooh. hole there just don't want you to oh. appear down there and uh, people again people go to garden centres and they see this plant and they think oh someone's making a lot of money out of, of growing this and, it, and, and in fact what happens is we grow the plant so it's weeded and it's repotted on and you keep it watered all the time and then when you go to sell it you have to put a new pot on the bottom a coloured label that you see on there a barcoded label because right. it's all everything is barcoded so, so yeah well, and so the price so yes. when this, when they get it in the garden centre they just scan it no oh, that's 7.99 please but the markup is the minimum markup is 235% oh gosh 
So we're getting so, nothing so again. again. Yes, yes. <laughs> Absolutely gosh. It's nothing. amazing that people Still carry on are, are able to do it. But you need to be so big to be able to, 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 to make the numbers work. Yes, yes. You know, so again, we oh dear, dear, we've you know, got to give this up. And so that's really when I started going in to, to look after people's gardens and, and started probably as a landscape gardener. Right. And then I've kind of sort of fell into just looking after a few very nice properties for people. So, so a garden like this, I notice we've walked from a sort of formal area and then you've got sort of areas of wild. Yeah, well, this is a chalk down. A chalk and, down. And this chalk was imported to, to just especially to grow wild, wild. flowers on here that would right. grow on, in the chalk area. And obviously that, you know, it'll attract lots of butterflies and, and that's the sort of thing. You know, it's a wild garden. Yes. And, it, you know, it's good for nature, really. Yes. And so, the, so your clients are really not just interested in having a, you know, a nice, posh and impressive garden, but they're also uh, interested in the wild life and the nature and the butterflies. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, and that's and good I to think, see. Well, I think um, particularly when you own a property like this, you kind of become a custodian of the property and the grounds and, right and it, it's it's a sort of your duty to look after it and i presume and you, if, encourage it, it, wildlife and do every bit yes because really. the i mean we glimpsed a bit of the property here it's an old timber frame property original that's that's been expanded but presumably what people don't think about is that the garden on such a property is also a, a heritage site in its own way with that's the, right you know as you, as you showed us that tree about 600 possibly older years yes yeah that you can't just go and oh, we'll chop that down and put a oh, swim pool there no 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 <laughs> absolutely oh i no. mean unfortunately people do but you know it, that is not most people when they take these on they take on a life's work i'm afraid yes now and, and, and a money pit and a mo yes, <laughs> yes. i'm afraid we're passing a, a different pond here yeah this is a wild pond right oh wow which is lovely um lots of ducks come here and we've got fish we've got tench fish. yeah tench carp rudd roach most of your normal sort of pond fish but you know lovely lovely area a lot of wildlife here super we had a swarm of bees in that tree the other oh, day oh really in the yeah, oak, they, oak they, tree they swarmed in and then moved off to, to pastures new which they do you keep out of the way when that happens yes <laughs> not surprised <laughs> no no so as we as we walk um, past this wonderful pond in these delightful grounds, uh, y your other role, which I gather is taking over your life at certainly at this sort of time of year, is you're organising the Tractor Fest, especially this year's 2018. Yes. Um, and you've been doing this for some time. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is our sixth year. Okay. Thinking about that, yeah. sorry, yeah, our sixth year. Sixth which year. Is, yeah, it's I mean, it's it's great. It's a great village yeah, show. Uh it, So what is so yeah, so tell us what is tracked for those that have no idea, have never been, have never seen such a thing, uh, what is Tractor Fest? Right, so Tractor Fest is Tractor Fest and Country Fair. Right. Um, um basically it, it is to show off vintage tractors, vintage cars, vintage motorbikes. But it's a country fair and it's where you come along to learn about country living and enjoy learning about it. Yes. It's really great. I mean, and it's full of lovely things for sale. We've got truck makers, we've got old crafts, things people would have, wouldn't have any idea. Walking stick makers, all sorts turn up at Tractor Fest. Well, are booked in yes. at Tractor Fest. So it's, a, it's, a, it's turned into a big show. So, it's, so how does it compare to a lot of the county shows that you hear about Well, or, or go, you know? I, I would say it is like a county show, but yeah. without anything commercial. We right. don't sell double glazing at Tractor Fest. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it really is a very affordable day out. I mean, to go to the Kent show, it's so expensive right. now. And, it, and it's, you know, the, the money is being drawn out of you. Whereas if you come to our show, you yes. don't have to spend another penny once you get in there's three arenas there's entertainment for everybody you know it's a really good day out even if i say so myself yeah no quite yeah no big but, it up know, yeah yeah and you can i mean no you can bring your own sandwiches we don't care yes and do you find that a lot of people from towns and cities come because they they have no longer that connection with absolutely rural life yeah, yeah. absolutely i mean it, it's quite interesting and quite frightening 
last year we had some sheep that were being shorn and the kids came up and said oh look at those goats <laughs> but it wasn't one no it, it, lots and lots of the children thought the sheep were goats yes. and they didn't know they didn't know we I mean, know but, but it's terrifying well, because if people don't know what the animals are yeah and we've got all this technology that's right uh, it's, 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 it's is scary we're I mean, doomed I, I, i'm afraid and because people don't always know where they're I mean, grown-ups don't know no. where their food is coming no. from, other Milk than comes it's from a bottle. Yeah, or a piece of polystyrene with a, a piece of chicken in it, with a bit of um, wrapping over the absolutely. top. That's it. Ho it's horrible. It is. It. Uh, yeah. No. Absolutely. So. So it's vital that things like Tractor Fest, where you can experience yeah. the countryside and 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 maybe just think about it. You know, just sort of have your interest peaked. Yes. Yeah, um, I, I, it would do a lot of people good just to stop and have a little look yeah. at what's going on. So, 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 yeah, so anyway, basically we have lots, uh, everything local, you know, it, it's all coming in. We've got Biddenden Vineyards, we've got anything from Biddenden really is coming in to, to sell their wares. If you want to buy them, you don't have to. No. Some no. people are just showing us things. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've got alpacas there. There's, <laughs> so there's animals, there's tractors, there's there's everything. There's singing. We've got headcorn ukulele. We've got tented and choir coming to sing. Wow. So, you know, we've got a lovely big food court and there's entertainment all day there. You know, which all of this is all it's all free. It's all you've got to do is come along. Fantastic. Well, it, 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 it sounds brilliant, I bet though behind the scenes organizing <laughs> getting it all ready for the big day is uh, not so easy no it's not so easy uh, i mean basically it takes us a year to set it up I mean, right. we're a brilliant committee i mean I, I don't want anybody to think that you know i do this on my own no. because i don't no you know, and, and, and without that committee we, we wouldn't be able to do it and over the past six years presumably it's grown and improved oh, yeah. and because you're on a different um a different site a, now. a bigger site this year yeah because, yeah. because we outgrew the last site um it was very kind a farmer friend of mine said we could use his site but you know unfortunately you know he had to move every single one of his animals oh right yeah and you know it's too much you can't move 130 sheep and it's not just for the day because we have to set up yes of course these things don't just spring up overnight no and then you know like this year particularly i mean he has to mow everything off and then this year it's so dry stuff probably won't grow back till november so Gosh. it's such a long time he yeah. would have to be without any of his grazing so you know we decided it was time we looked for a new site which is where we are now which is down at Wolfpack corner and there's quite a lot of work going on this year trying to get that ready wow and it's probably not as good as it will be next year but yes. it takes a while to, uh, to bed in yeah, and, but and the show will be it's yes. going to be an excellent show excellent well i have to say i'm excited because um i'm going to be live streaming there myself so of course i'm going to encourage everybody to come along and uh, support the tractor fest support the board explorer live and all the local and rural people that are there absolutely so very excited sue thank you so much for talking it's to us it's been my pleasure Richard. and for t showing us around and telling us what you do thank you it's very been, much it's been a joy lovely so there we are join me again next time i'm on a stroll and uh, you never know who i'm going to meet till then bye for now thanks sue thank you <laughs>